Hello everybody, let's get started with simulating an RC circuit and showing the frequency response in LTSPICE. And what I'm going to show you is how to plot the magnitude of the frequency response and the phase of the frequency response. So let's get started with the schematic that we used during the last video, or you could just draw the schematic out again. Uh, I'm starting with the schematic from the last video. I'm going to make a couple changes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this source. I'm going to right click on that source uh, and I'm going to change the function to none. Okay, so that basically uh, deletes what that source is doing. Uh, and then I'm actually going to delete the simulation command. So I can actually hit the delete key <clears throat> and it'll get rid of that simulation command if I click on it. So next what I'm going to do, right click on the source, click on advanced, and what I'm doing now is I'm setting up the source to be able to sweep across frequencies that I will define later. But what I need to do now for that source V1 is I have to specify under this small signal AC analysis, I have to specify an amplitude. Let's just say 1 volt. So put 1 volt in there, leave phase blank, click OK. And so next I'm going to set up a simulation using the simulation command. Uh, let's go up and click on simulate edit simulation command. I'm going to click on AC analysis. The type of sweep is going to be linear. Now this is uh, this means sweep across frequencies. So I'm going to sweep across a range of frequencies in a linear fashion. Let's use 1,000 frequency points. Again, you can you can pick a higher number or lower number as long as it gives you the resolution that you need. Let's uh, start uh, the frequency sweep at 10 Hertz and stop the frequency sweep at 50 kilohertz so 50k and so this simulation command will now show up I can place that in the schematic so now I go up to the top I click on run simulation and you'll see a, a blank plot here uh, so now what I can do is I can click on V out to see a response to that sweep but the first thing I want to do is I want to change what's shown here this is only uh, a sweep of frequency showing you the magnitude and phase of V out I want to show the frequency response V out compared to V in so what I'm going to do is uh, click on V out actually right click on V out and change what's specified in the box here to uh, the voltage of V out divided by capital V V in that's the voltage of V in so this is going to show me a plot of the ratio of V out versus V in hit OK now nothing really changed on the plot because I had an AC amplitude for the sweep of 1 volt if that were 2 volts or 5 volts it, you would see a difference so this is just good practice when you are plotting a frequency response be sure you're plotting V out over V in so here's what this plot is showing. On the x-axis, on the horizontal axis, we have frequency. So that's ranging, uh, we defined a lower frequency of 10 hertz, which is roughly down near DC, uh, all the way up to 50 kilohertz. So I have roughly DC up to 50 kilohertz on the x-axis. On the y-axis, on the left side, I have uh, uh, values in dB. So this is the frequency response, V out over V in, in dB, and it's looking at the magnitude. So in this particular plot, it's auto-scaled. Uh, it, it starts up at the top 0 dB uh, down to negative 11 dB at the bottom. So that scale applies to this solid line that I'm tracing over now, and that is the magnitude plot. If you look over on the right, there's also uh, an axis, uh, a vertical axis in degrees. So this ranges from 0 to negative 77 degrees. Again, it was auto-scaled. And that applies to the phase plot. We'll talk about that in a minute. But that's this other green dotted trace that I'm tracing over now. And so we'll talk about that in a minute. So this plot shows both magnitude and phase of the frequency response on the same plot. 
If we take a look at the magnitude plot, this is what we would expect out of a low pass filter. For low frequencies down near DC, the frequency response shows 0 dB. That means the output voltage is approximately equal to the input voltage. Right? As we go up in frequency, the frequency response magnitude falls, and that's what you would expect out of a low pass filter for high frequencies. Uh, the magnitude of the frequency response falls, or you could say the attenuation of the input signal increases. Okay, attenuation increases as you go up in frequency for a low pass filter. So let's put a cursor on the magnitude. So I'm going to come up here and click on my V out over V in. That gives me a cursor. If I move this cursor down to a low frequency and move in my cursor window here, you'll see that right now I'm down at about 640 hertz and I have a, a a magnitude that's really close to 0 dB. This says minus 7 millidB, right? 0 0.007 dB or negative 0 0.007 dB. Uh, that's approximately 0 dB and that means the output signal is approximately equal to the input signal in, mount, in magnitude. As I go up in frequency, you will see that the attenuation increases, or that's another way of saying the magnitude of the frequency response decreases. Right, so I'm sliding the cursor up here on the magnitude scale. If you recall from the last video, the cutoff frequency of this RC filter was 16 kilohertz. So if I set, uh, looking at my cursor window, if I set the cursor at about 16 kilohertz, what you'll notice is the magnitude is negative 3 dB. That's the half power point. So this RC filter is actually acting like we would expect. At the cutoff frequency, 16 kilohertz, right, you can calculate that for this R value and the C value. At the cutoff frequency, we have minus 3 dB uh, magnitude of the frequency response. And then as I keep uh, increasing in frequency with my cursor, you could see the magnitude uh, gets lower and lower, more negative in dB, again, which means higher attenuation by the filter. Uh, for higher frequencies. So let's take this cursor back near DC and look at the phase response shown in the cursor window down here. So this phase response, it says negative uh, 1.3 degrees. That's a really small delay in the output signal compared to the input signal. For this type of filter, as I increase in frequency, you'll notice that uh, phase response becomes more negative. Okay, that means there's a larger delay of the output compared to the input as we increase in frequency. In fact, we can check at the uh, cutoff frequency right near 16 kilohertz. And so what you'll see there is a phase of about negative 45 degrees. And that's a characteristic of an RC filter. At the cutoff frequency, you have a delay or a lag of the output compared to the input of of 45 degrees. So if you're looking at these signals output versus input in the time domain, you would see uh, 45 degrees shift between the output and the input, and the output would be delayed by 45 degrees. Okay, so that is how you simulate the frequency response of an RC circuit in LT-SPICE.